Hi, I'm Chris Gibbons and I work here at Teal & Mackerel. I'm one of several technical specialists involved in the manufacture and application of paint. We've been making paint here in the North East for over 100 years and we're producing a, a number of clips that people can view to try and explain some of the vagaries and misunderstanding behind paint and how it works. First one, adhesion. Why does paint stick? Most of you will understand that if you sand or blast a surface, you produce a profile. If you then paint over the top of that, paint runs down into the bottom of the valley. And as paint dries, not only does it shrink in this direction, it shrinks in this direction. So you can see now that it's literally shrinking and it's pinching onto these peaks and it's that mechanical compression which is holding it onto the surface in that example. If that were something uh, quite porous, let's say a piece of wood that's got lots of uh, little holes in it in the surface, if you paint it over the top of that, paint will run down into these little voids in the surface and again produce mechanical adhesion. So that's quite simple to understand. What we need to know is that mechanical adhesion does not form the primary reason why paint sticks. The primary reason paint sticks is an electrostatic attraction between the paint and the substrate. So how can we see that? So the best example We'll all have seen this party trick that if you charge the balloon, in this case a molecule, you can see it's a very large molecule, lots and lots of atoms in there all joined together, all have electrical energy. They are trying to share that energy with the substrate. There's no liquid penetration into the surface here, it's literally the electrostatic energy that's shared between the molecule and the substrate. If you imagine now that this is one of billions of molecules floating around in the liquid paint, when you bring it into intimate contact with a smooth substrate, we can get adhesion. So how can we see that in the liquid itself? So we've got a piece of steel, um, a straightforward sewing needle, and we can demonstrate by putting um, the steel onto the surface and we can make the steel float. So there we have the needle literally floating on the surface. Steel has a higher density than water but it's actually floating on the water. The reason it is floating on the water is the electrostatic attraction between each of the water molecules is gr big enough to prevent the needle from sinking through to the surface. If you can now imagine that that were a paint, again with lots of molecules of paint floating around in there, each having energy, electrostatic attraction, if you bring that into contact with a suitable surface, intimate contact, the liquid will try and share its energy with the substrate and you achieve primary adhesion. Thanks for watching this clip. Hope you've gained further insight into the use and application of paint. Remember at tmac.co.uk for sound advice and quality products. Thank you. Bye now.